Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Been a minute since we've been hanging out with the crew. He was like, yeah, I'm over here yawning, dude, because it's been like seven and a half years. It's a Friday today, and we hope your summer is going good. What have you guys been up to? Leave it down in the comments below and let us know how your summer has been. Britney Spears has just been chilling. I even think I've caught him with sunglasses on a couple times. You're wearing sunglasses, dude? You have? Wait, dude, where'd you get sunglasses, bro? What? Would you mind showing everybody what it looks like? Whoa, dude, those are pretty stylish. I gotta say, they look good on you. Now, if you're new to the channel, I always let everyone know the husky on the left is Britney Spears. He's the guy of the house. And the husky on the right is Gila, and she's the lady of the house. And today, we're going to be talking about husky floof. Vacation. If you own a Siberian husky, then you know what I mean. Owning one of these dogs means you got to be on top of hair management. Otherwise, it gets all over the place. And today, we're going to be talking about how you can get rid of husky hair, make it a thing of the past, get rid of it for good in your house. How many people out there want I have a Siberian Husky and you're like, dude, I just don't want to deal with all like these little floofy things all over the floor, just making my brain go crazy. Well, this is the episode for you. Because we're going to be talking about that in today's stuff. Isn't that right, Britney Spears? Oh. That's right. You want to teach him how to get rid of that booty sparkle stuff, what? don't you? Yeah, the dust, the booty dust. Yeah, that thing. Right back there. The Husky booty stuff. So come with us, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how to mitigate Husky hair, three amazing tips and tricks, and a secret weapon that I have for you to show you how to get rid of Husky hair for good. And not only Husky hair, all dog hair, bro. I know, I know, you're super interested, so let's get into it. scooby da bop 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 ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo ba doo Did you ever notice that dogs shed a lot? Not all dogs shed, but most dogs do. Especially Huskies. A lot of people think that getting a Siberian Husky means that you will constantly live in a house filled with hair. An existence where fur looms on every piece of furniture and clothing and even gets into your food. But is there any truth to that? Is it possible to own a Siberian Husky and have a completely hair-free environment? We're going to answer that question today. The reason most people suffer from living in a furry and hairy environment with their dog is because they don't know what tools to own to combat the hair and what not to own in order to avoid and mitigate that dog fur. So what do you need? What should you avoid? I'm going to give you the best tips and tricks that no one else talks about on the internet. The first thing that you need to keep in mind is that you need to keep your dog groomed. This is probably the number one mistake most people make when it comes to dog care. There's no official statistic as far as I'm aware, but I guess that a good 80% or more of dog owners just don't bother too much with grooming their dog's hair beyond the occasional bath. When it comes to double coat dogs like Siberian Huskies or dogs with longer hair, Grooming is a necessity, and what I mean by grooming is regular combing, brushing, and in some cases, hair cutting. The next thing you need is the right vacuum. Inevitably, amongst your struggle, a bit of hair and fur is going to reach the floor and your furniture. And for that job, you need the best tool. Now, when it comes to owning two Siberian Huskies, I use the Eureka Omniverse Vacuum. It has amazing quick shift technology, which allows you to seamlessly switch modes at the touch of a button. Each mode helps you reach every spot in your house, including tight corners, stairs, and hard to reach areas like under furniture. It's very important to get the best vacuum for the job because a lot of vacuums just clean the surface. The Eureka Omniverse was engineered to be anti-tangle, which means hair does not get wrapped and stuck in the brush roll. It was also engineered to deep clean both carpet and hard floors with advanced dual motor technology that's implemented into the vacuum. With a touch of a button, the vacuum can effectively clean each type of flooring, making sure every hair is scooped. 
The Omniverse also comes with a ton of additional tools so that you can cover tight spots and high up areas. Finally, one of the most important features that you want with a vacuum that cleans up pet hair is a HEPA filter vacuum. The Omniverse HEPA Complete Seal Filtration System captures 99.9% .9 of dust, dander, and allergens from going back into the air. That's incredibly important, especially if you have family or friends who may be visiting and sensitive or susceptible to these types of dander or allergens. I would only ever use the Omniverse because it has everything you need if you own a pet, especially a Siberian Husky. Another tip I have for you is things to avoid. If you want to avoid hair altogether, there are a few things to avoid and I'm gonna let you know what they are now. Some fabrics and types of clothing not only attract hair and hold onto hair much tighter, but they also just look bad with any hair attached at all. For example, coarse fabrics are often a good contender for holding onto pet hair. Compare that to say a leather sofa, which holds virtually no pet hair within its fabric structure. So by investing in furniture, clothing, towels, or blankets that aren't coarse or made of material that may hold onto hair more, this will help mitigate the amount of hair that you encounter on a daily basis. Black clothing is not a great style to adopt if you plan on having a Siberian Husky or a pet that sheds, mostly because you'll have to constantly clean yourself before you part from your pet. Now by following these tips, you should have very little to no hair while at the same time enjoying the life of owning a furry friend. I follow these tips and have very, very little amounts of hair in my home, even though I own two Huskies. Groom your dog regularly, buy the right type of vacuum, and make sure to avoid certain types of fabrics and materials, and you'll be totally hair free. I guarantee it. Be sure to check out today's sponsor, Eureka, and their amazing Omniverse vacuum in the description below. We will provide a link so that you can buy yourself one and get on track to controlling the hair in your home today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It was the absolute best. We hope you figured out how to take control of that hair and finally enjoy your time with your pepperoni pizza. We also hope you had fun hanging out with Gila and Britney Spears. We can't wait to hang out with you again. And we'll see you next time in another episode of Guess What? Yep, you guessed it. Whatever we make. Peace. Scooby da ba 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 do 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 ba